got a sticker from Sam over at Twisted Crash UK. You know, I'll put it down here and over there. Uh, thanks for sticker, Sam. I already sent mine out. I'm not sure if you'll have it by the time this goes up. Man, um, you know. Well, we're going to stick you right out there. All right, so I got a project, and we'll get to that. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is we're going to get this poured with resin. This is why I asked MG to uh, give me a color on. And I'm going to get it poured with resin, cast it, and I'm going to ship it off to England. Y'all get to watch uh, MG turn this. I'm just going to make the mold. So, uh, he actually has no idea what I'm doing until he gets this and turns it. He gave me a color idea. We'll go from there. Okay, so the plan is to hot glue it to this. Uh, wrap this around as tight as I can possibly get it anyways staying off this big void over here keep it all the way down and hot glue it down set it down in the pressure pot fill it with some resin now I've already run some through it and I thought I had it sealed up but it ran out all over my bench over here so right right now the plan is to just kind of get these two sealed together because the tape won't stick to it. <laughs> the glue don't really like to stick to it, but it does. Not sure what this stuff is. I wish it was a little thicker. Obviously, I don't need it this tall, but that's what I'm going to do. All right, so I put a piece of aluminum tape on here. It don't want to stick either. But that's just so I can seal it up and not worry about the resin melting the glue, hopefully. That's the plan anyways. This doesn't want to work. Since this won't fit in my bucket, I'm uh, hoping I've got that sealed up. <laughs> so I'm gonna get some colors mixed up and then we'll get pouring that. Okay, so the colors I mixed up are Alumalite Interference Blue and the Alumalite Ocean Blue, those two together. Uh, blue Green. The, uh oh. Get it over here. Anyways, the the dual blue green color, which it's different than the other one, and then the macro pearl, and this one's white in together. And then I'm also going to mix in with the bigger amounts the stream, the Jim Holtz uh, alcohol inks, and then the Alumalite blue for a deeper color. And I'm going to use the the total boat. This is the two to one. With a slow hardener. And that's what I'm using. Okay, hopefully I mixed up enough. <laughs> Is it recording? Are you recording? Yeah, you're recording. Can you all see down in that hole? Alright, so I want uh, a good portion of this dark stuff to be down in the bottom. And I also want it to flow through those holes. I need them to all be full. And then we want some of this stuff in there. Okay. 
<laughs> I may have mixed up way too much. Candy moles it is. Y'all still watching? Yeah. So that's all I'm gonna let you see. <laughs> well, let's get that shipped over to Martin. Thank you, Doug. Now to get it on the lathe and see what we can turn it into. All right, Martin, you do that, and I'll send everybody over to you. So, go check out Sam over here at Twisted Crafts UK. Uh, go on over and see what Martin's doing with that bowl. I don't even know yet. <laughs> Sorry, Martin. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I mean, I guess I'd say if you like that project, give it a thumbs up, but. You only got half of it. It was pretty. <laughs> That's all I can say. It was pretty. Um, I put. I think I only took one picture of it, so I'll post that picture up here at the end. We'll leave the links and all that over to Martin, so you can go see what he's doing with it in uh, in the over there. And at the end here, in during the pictures, there'll be a link for the actual video. Until then, uh, we'll see you on Friday. <laughs>